In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make custom napkins for your next event or wedding. Welcome back to my channel. I love all things home decor, wedding, and DIY. Most wedding details are generally just there to be beautiful and personalized and to make the experience a better one for your guests. With that said, most decorations at wedding are not practical and they are just there for the aesthetics, which is okay. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom napkin that is not only aesthetic, personal, but it also is practical, which will be perfect for your next wedding or event. What you will need, napkins, iron on vinyl, a Cricut, weeding tools, or an easy press or iron. It is so important to have high quality vinyl for this project, especially if you're using small and thin images for your napkins. I cannot stress enough how important it is to do a few test options before you invest in a bulk amount of vinyl for this project. I had to do a few different tests myself just to make sure it would work. With that said, I had the best results with the Cricut brand vinyl. Like I say in all of my videos, I really suggest investing in Canva Pro. It is so worth all the extra elements and different fonts that you get to have to use when you use Canva Pro. Also, it gives you the option to download with a clear or transparent background. In Canva, I use the element tab and search for line art to add an element to my design. Make sure to look for art that doesn't have too thin of lines and is not too detailed. I then found a font that I liked for each design, making sure the fonts weren't too thin, that it would be too hard later to weed. These are all elements and fonts I got from Canva Pro. Unfortunately, I cannot make a template for this design because I did not do any alterations to the elements in order to avoid copyright issues. I will just leave all the information down below in the description. Once you are happy with your design, download it as a PNG with a transparent background and continue that process with the rest of the names you have for your event. After your elements are downloaded from Canva, upload them to Cricut Design Space. Measure the size of your folded napkins and decide how wide you want each element. Click make it and make sure the matte setting is right and make sure to mirror your image since we are cutting with iron on vinyl. Click continue and select the everyday iron on vinyl for your material. I always do more pressure for most of my projects. Put your vinyl shiny side down on your Cricut mat and let your Cricut do its thing. <laughs> Once your designs are cut, you will need to weed the unwanted vinyl. If you have high quality vinyl, the unwanted vinyl should just peel away from the design with ease. I promise you that investing in better vinyl will be worth the time you will save from weeding. Now that your design is weeded, it is time to iron it to your napkin. Please refer to Cricut's heat guide for time and temperature for your specific material. I tried to iron these napkins before filming and I just couldn't get the wrinkles out. I will link them, but I do not recommend these specific napkins. The final step is to take off the plastic transfer material and you will have a beautiful custom napkin for your event. I really love how these turned out. My intention for mine was to be a place card for any guests that I had. Obviously I used my own name, but the possibilities are endless. You could just add a floral design that goes with your wedding or any other graphic that you have for your wedding. I really hope you liked this video. Please subscribe and like down below. My name is Nikki and these are all of my social media handles if you'd like to keep up with my personal life. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.